Good morning, everyone. It is Monday, and I don't know, this is like the third or fourth time I've tried to do this video because I'm afraid I'm going to step on too many toes, and I'm afraid that I'm just going to get too belligerent. <laughs> but I have news. You know, I make videos because I like to watch them. <laughs> no. I do not like watching my big fat head. <laughs> but I do make videos so that my mom and my daughter know that I'm alive and that they can show my granddaughter how much of an idiot her grandmother really is. <laughs> and sometimes, you know, that's how it goes. Now, my, my thing today is to let you know what's going on in my life. Now, I went up against a multi-million dollar company. We are talking a company that is huge. We are talking about when you are working in the shop or whatever, and you come out of the bathroom, there's a picture of the owner framed on Forbes magazine. I don't think that anyone that works there understands what that picture means. What does it mean to be on the pit on the front of Forbes magazine? That means that you have accomplished yourself and you are way above the average manufacturing company. I'm just saying. Um, this gentleman used to applaud me because I would get on my forklift and like couponing stuff that I got. I would just fill bins, some of the bins with shampoos, conditioners, body washes, razors, toothpaste, little odds and ends, candles, so on and so forth. And I would drive my forklift around, around the whole, the whole company, the whole building and pass out Christmas gifts. I'd say pick two or three. Merry Christmas. Okay. So it's shampoo, toothpaste or whatever, but I was giving to those who work there and he liked that. Um, I think when I lost respect for him was when he came into the break room and told my husband and I that he had went and got, he had just gotten back the night before from jumping on a jet and jetting out to Las Vegas to see Neil Diamond. And then after the show jetted back here, I don't care. That really made me angry. And I really had to watch what I said to him. Cause I know my husband just looked at me like, please don't say anything. Cause he was in the break room with me. <laughs> please don't say anything. It's hard for me not to say anything because I am a human being who expresses myself in a manner that people will understand. It might be loud. It might be hurtful, but it's truthful. I don't lie. I'm not, I'm not a liar. So it comes down to this. I have settled. There's going to be no surgery but there was a topic brought up of defamation of character by this multi-million dollar corporation against me. What have I said that was untrue? You know, I tried to talk to the owner. I tried to talk to the upper chalant. But I was stopped. I could not speak to them anymore. And then that's when I went and got my workman's comp lawyer and went forward with, you know, this whole thing that's been going on. It has destroyed my life. The injury, my confidence, um, you know, so they have to prove five points of defamation, four major, one minor. Now they couldn't prove, they can't prove I've said anything that's untrue because a judge said that I was telling the truth. So when the judge says you're telling the truth, you're telling the truth. Okay. So I will be getting a lump sum of money. I don't think it's worth my life. I don't think it's worth what I've lost. I don't think it's worth, well, my life. Anyway, that's why I'm going ahead and doing the fencing and stuff. But 
I also want to talk about some of the channels on YouTube. Man, I'm just throwing it out there. It's Monday and I, I'm just out there today because I am so angry. It's kind of raining right now. I can't go get Crookshank out. He's probably locked up like, like he doesn't want to be there. The roosters are all locked up, ready to go to their forever home. Um, tonight, they'll be picking up at 7 o'clock. I'm really sad about getting rid of Friction. I'm really sad about getting rid of Napoleon. Um, but if these guys have a chance of having a flock um, on different properties, not adjoining properties due to the fact that they will kill each other, well, Napoleon will kill, um, I've got to give them that life because they are causing me not to be able to clean my barn, not to get my cabana set back up. It's in horrendous shape. That whole coop system up there needs to change. I need to get everything cleaned and made better so that I can coax my younger girls into using that coop. If not, then I'm going to get hatchers to put in that coop and do the way I did four years ago and just hatch them right there or not hatch them, but raise them right there in that coop and just keep them in that area. So that's where we're at. I really don't want to buy any more chickens this year. I do want to buy some ducks, but I think we're at the end of that. Okay. Whew. I can't keep my ranting straight. But anyway, let's go ahead and talk about some of these channels. Um, I was a huge fan of a homesteading channel um, in Appalachia with a certain woman and I loved her. I loved her energy. I loved what she was about. She has some of the best chicken advice I could ever want to gain from someone. But then she went political on me. No. I don't need her to tell me how I should feel about my ideologies or how I think I should vote or, or do that. If I have a homestead, my chickens don't care who I vote for. My chickens could care less. You know, they're coming to me for food, not for food for the brain. And that's what these, home, that's what these channels were for me, food for my brain. I could sit down, grab a cup of coffee and, and watch these videos to get information on how to make my homestead better. Well, I won't be watching her anymore. I have not dropped my subscription yet because it really doesn't matter because her numbers are off the charts. But I'm, I think she's not a good person anymore. I think that fame has gone to her head. I think she knew that she had a catchphrase that blew her channel up. And um, I don't like, I just don't like her. Um, I just don't like her anymore. I mean, once you see someone's true person, you either like them or you don't. Well, I liked her videos about chickens, homesteading, uh, farming, so on and so forth. But when you start doing stuff for political gain, I just... Ugh. Now, Doug and Stacy, <laughs> Doug, you're a douchebag. And the reason I say that is because I just, I find you so offensive. I find, I find Doug very offensive. I love watching Stacy in the kitchen. I love watching her do stuff. I think it's fantastic. But your husband is a douchebag. My husband is a douchebag. I'm okay with saying that, but come on. Why do we have to make this such a battle of politics or calling someone fake or saying they're not true to what they're putting out there? Are you kidding me? I, everything I put on my channel is true. I have problems with neighbor dogs. I have problems with hawks. I have problems with fox. Um, you know, I have no garden because of my chickens. That's my fault because I love them and I don't want them to be so far away. You know, truth. Truth is, is like the ultimate um, goal, right? Doug, 
I know you're not going to watch my little channel to get my opinion, but I think you're a douchebag. I'm just saying. Um, the little lady from the Appalachian homestead. I just, I find you disgusting anymore. I absolutely love gold, um, gold Shaw ranch. <laughs> Morgan, I think you're absolutely a phenomenal video maker. I mean, come on. You make great videos. I wish I had the know-how to put little, little parts of my videos into one big video. I think that would be freaking awesome. But I do know that you and Hillside Homesteading have had a real issue with Doug and... I apologize for their ignorance or stupidity because I don't think Doug's going to change. So then that means he's just going to stay stupid. I just, I have a problem with that. If you are trying to antagonize someone because you don't like their political view or you don't like how they're doing something or they didn't come from a Mennonite farm. Doug, did you come from a Mennonite farm? You look kind of Mennonite. I don't know. I don't like you. I love your wife when she's doing stuff, but you know, she's going to stick by her douchebag. Hell, I stick by my douchebag. I don't know why. I think I've said enough. So what I'm going to do tonight is do a video, a farewell to the roosters and it's going to break my heart and I'll probably be crying the whole time. I'm going to make this guy catch his roosters though, because I don't, I can't. <laughs> But it is going to put a calm on my homestead and um, it's going to allow me to fix up the coops in the barn a little better. You know, when you have animals stuck in there, you don't want to like make them have to breathe everything when you're trying to clean. So the barn will be cleaned out. But I have one dilemma and I wish I could insert a picture of her <laughs> right here. Um, Chickapee. She is my little chicken that got so traumatized by all of the death on the farm. She is my chicken that will not come out of the barn um, because she's in love with one of the roosters. She's in love with Arthur. Arthur is her man. She lays her egg up there. She hopes I bring food and water up there to her. And I do feed her up there. I can't help it. Should I let her go with Arthur? Or should I make her stay here? She's the fuzzy faced one. She lays little blue eggs, little greenish blue eggs. And she's funny. She's not the brightest chicken in the world. What should I do with her? Should I let her go with Arthur? I mean, that's kind of what I'm thinking, but I'm going to let you decide in the comments below. Should I let Chickapea go? She's not going to be happy coming down here with the other girls anymore. She loves Arthur. I guess you can see what I'm saying, right? But anyway, when you're watching these homesteading and farming videos, just remember it's not about the politics. It's about the husbandry of the animals, how they care for their animals, how they feed their animals. And it's not about who they vote for. Just saying. Hugs from a distance. Y'all have a great day. I've rambled enough.